Okay. Let's head in. Let's continue. So we only have four more levels. So if I if this continues the way it's been going, I'll beat it like later today. So let's quickly do this. Hey, Kingpin. What are you doing down there? That's Kingpin. Mom locked him in here. So. We had them. They were in our sights, and Captain Carroll just let them go. What could she do with our missile guidance scrambled? We could have done something. Now Lyndon James and Vanguard Squadron are laughing at us. They're running scared, dragged down by an injured fleet. If anyone's laughing, it's Captain Carroll. Let's just get to the briefing room. Well, I don't think this decision was entirely good. The Nadiri dockyards are burning. Am I they seriously the only person that comes before here? Us. Linden and Vanguard are within our reach. Vengeance is sweet, isn't it? But this is no time to get complacent. I've waited too long to let Linden slip away again. Admiral Sloan is adamant that the Starhawk be destroyed, but yeah. we cannot engage it directly. The tractor beam is too powerful. Instead, we must force them into the Ringali Nebula. There, Vanguard that. and their battleship will be erased from history. Our empire has called us to serve. Well, we based on the fourth door, I don't think we win. Sorry to be, like, negative, but... It kinda hurts. Our enemy is on the run. You have done well, Titan Squadron. But... In order to stop them, I need you to break off from the Overseer and fly ahead of the enemy fleet to set a trap. LT-514's calculations indicate that the remains of the Nadiri fleet is attempting to reach the New Republic capital of Chandrala. To do so, they must navigate the junkyard of scrapped Imperial ships they've been using to build that monstrous Starhawk. Poetic, <laughs> isn't it? We've detected several reactor cores in the junkyard. Titan, or Shen. fly oh, ahead no, of their fleet there. and use the cores to create a minefield on their path. Active cores will detonate when shot and devastate any ships nearby. Okay. That includes you. Wield this advantage cautiously. Destroy any Republic starfighters attempting to scout the dangers of the debris field. Your ties alone may struggle against the fleet's larger ships. Detonate the cores to take them out. If all goes according to plan, the Starhawk will either be destroyed in your minefield or be forced to divert into the deadly Ringali Nebula. Either way, we win. What's up, Sean? I trust you see the wisdom in our strategy. Come now. Even damaged, the rebel fleet still presents a legitimate threat. We can't simply attack it in the open. Too exposed. Exactly. Sabotage is the answer. We pick the fleet apart, thin their numbers, and leave the Starhawk right where we want it. Defenseless. Precisely. If all goes to plan, you and the rest of Titan Squadron will have a clear run at the Starhawk, Lyndon Javes, and Vanguard. Ah, yes. Vanguard Squadron continues to be a vexing anomaly in my calculations. A problem you two are happily 
well positioned to correct. Yep. Good luck. I'll be monitoring you from here. I don't know how you can be so calm. I've never been more ready for a mission in my life. Good. Ride the adrenaline. But remember... Yes, Svarko, don't die. You said it a hundred times. None of us are replaceable. Actually, I was going to say I need you alive because if our plan works, there's a good chance we'll be fighting the Starhawk in the middle of a nebula. If that's how this ends, then I want that good old Vonreg fury covering our backs. We came so close at Nadiri, and they slipped through our fingers. Not again. Not today. Pace yourself. Make sure that fire's there when I need it. And you Can know we just not... get started? Okay. For this mission, you're authorized to fly a TIE bomber or a TIE reaper. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Catch a tiger by the toe. If it cries, let it go. And we are it. Destination. The enemy is advancing as expected. You have time to prepare our trap. Copy that. Let's find those reactor cores. Remember, only active cores are explosive. And the rest are useless duds. Understood. That core isn't active, so it's useless to us. Destroy it and move on. Above all else, pilots. It's all right. Titan 3. Let's cut down. 
these fighters. Threat eliminated. I'll make this count. Fighters at I, I can't find them. Where the hell are all the red lights? Guys? Guys? You have a tail. Yeah, how about you tell me where the hell the tail is?
Out with the ship here. Do we have enough if you're to all in here, you Way can better. help. Careful, you're in the cold kill zone. Stop acting like you're the ship that can do things. You have ships. You can help. You did your job. No, you all act like I'm the only person who wants this. Ah, this is why this is the fucking first order of hands out. No one else in the Empire would seem to be the fucking shit. I think it's just like, oh, no, I thought we could build the Empire or something new. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Just go down! Help with the damn last ship. Thank you. 
They see what we're doing. Scan that core cluster to ensure it's active. The rebels have no idea that frigate is heading straight to its doom. They must not have noticed these cores. They're desperate, so they got sloppy. Works for me. Active cores confirmed. Yes, this is our last year. chance to You did your job. Can you talk? Oh, okay, Kyo. What's up, man? Uh, just haven't talked to you in a while. Ardo asked if I saw a way through that minefield Titan set up. But no matter what path we took, we'd lose the fleet. I know it. So the commander took Ardo's second choice. We're heading into the Ringali Nebula. No long distance comms, sensors are almost dark. It's a gamble, but it's better than no chance at all. When those missiles hit us back at the dockyards, I thought the Temperance was done for. Full shields, and they still almost tore us apart. But we got Teresa and Titan Squadron to chase us, instead of destroying Nadiri for good. Yeah. That's what matters. Our next steps are unclear, like walking into fog. Better get to the briefing room. Yeah. What's up, guys? I haven't seen you all in a while. Hey, where's... Oh, no, Let me speak there. plainly, Vanguard Squadron. We're in trouble. We have the Overseer behind us, and Imperial reinforcements moving to cut us off. There's no way we'll fend them off. We need to send a distress call to our allies in the New Republic and hope they can reach us in time. The problem is, we're wounded, outnumbered, and the Ringali Nebula is already disrupting our long-distance communications. Luckily, General Sindula has located an old broadcast hub that once orbited a nearby moon called Galatan. If we restore the Galatan broadcast hub, we can send a distress signal to New Republic forces outside the nebula. Chief Mechanic Zarelda Sage will lead a repair team to do just that. She'll also locate communication satellites in the area to boost our distress signal. The more active comsats we have, the stronger our transmission will be. Teresa surely knows this too. We can suffer minor losses with the commsats, but the more we have working, the faster we can signal Chandrilla for help. But the Empire's fighters must not destroy the broadcast hub. We lose that. We won't survive. Yeah. Keep Zerelda and the commsats safe. I'll call for aid as soon as you get the signal strength high enough. From there, all we can do is wait and hope. Okay. Yeah. 
have. Oh, come on! It's been plugged in all night! I just want to lay back. Ugh. Okay, that's bull crap. It has been charging all night. You cannot lie to me, I know. Bullshit. You cannot possibly be telling me this thing has not been getting power. Or it will not be working. Throughout this entire thing, it will not be working. No, when I you're... left the Empire. I tried to leave behind their view on morality and certainty. The core of imperial doctrine is being certain that what you're doing is right. Doubt is seen as disloyalty. Now I understand that you have to look at your decisions with a clear heart and ask what more you could do, should do. For those who lead, doubt is necessary. Yeah. The Starhawk Project represents hope for an entire galaxy. It's bigger than any of us. I know you'd rather be defending the Starhawk, but I promise that reactivating the broadcast hub is the best thing you can do to ensure the project's survival. Good luck. I know you won't let me down. Yeah. This will work. Vanguard Squadron has handled dangerous assignments before and performed brilliantly. A deadly nebula on one side and a crumbling moon on the other. That gives us a slim margin of error. It's this or we come up with something more drastic. You know me, Ardo. There's always another way. Trust me, General, I'm aware. I'm just letting you know that my crew is feeling the strain. Noted. But I trust my people. You included to make this happen. Sorry, not now. Oh, okay. I just wanted to hear. Hey, Frisk. You know, after Endor, I wasn't sure about staying with the New Republic. I'd fought the good fight, even shaking that death mark. I didn't see the point in going legit, so to speak. Figured I'd cash out, then get back to doing what I do best. It was Grace who changed my mind. The day I was set to leave, she pulled me aside and told me something I'll never forget. She said, I'll miss you, Frisk. And back home on Dosh, my clan and I never got along. You're too loud, Ferrisk. Why don't you like hunting, Ferrisk? <sighs> as soon as I could fly, I left. Made my own way. On my own. Until I met Vanguard. The only thing better than pulling one over on the Empire was flying with my Vanguard buddies. And it never occurred to me they felt the same way. Uh, the point I'm trying to make is... Whether it's a life or death mission or just helping a Trandoshan feel at home... We make it work. Yeah. So yeah, things work for me. But when Vanguard flies together, there's nothing we can't do. Yeah. Especially with you around. Well, and if we fail, team effort. we fail together. Even though I'm no clearly the best pilot. No, because we'll be dead. <laughs> now that's a win in my book. Yeah. <laughs> Ready to go when you are. Uh. Listen, I know things seem tough, but we've stared down death more times than I can count. Stranded in a nebula? That's nothing. We survived the Xavian Abyss. Hunted down by an Imperial fleet? So what? If they could stop us, they would have done it by now. This is war. Everything we face is gonna be tough. That's why the New Republic entrusted this mission to us. To Vanguard Squadron. No matter how hard it gets, how hopeless it seems, or how tired we feel. Vanguard, don't give in. Yeah. Now let's go get him. Attention, 
You're in a U-wing, which is great news for me. I'll need all the support I can get out there. All these here's on the temperance. I've never deployed on a mission. I just fixed up what came back. I might be nervous, scared even, but I've seen what you and Vanguard can accomplish together. Uh. I'm ready. I won't let you down out there. Okay. Yeah, this is definitely different. Oh, this is that shit from Rogue One. Take a quick break. Let me take a quick break. My eyes are rush for a minute. They get king for that out here. Nah. Go. U-wings keep the squadron flying. This is a support fighter specializing in disabling enemy fighters and empowering the squadron. All right. our broadcast hub. Beginning docking procedure. I'll have this old relic up and running in no time. Well, let's get this done before the Empire notices we're out here. How the hell is this thing not destroyed? I'm shaking in my boots. You're not nervous. Keo, I've seen Vanguard Squadron fly countless missions. What am I supposed to be worried about? Yeah. Yeah.
How much longer? Is this mission? Could look on my phone. Except I don't remember where I put it. My headphones are right here, but my phone's up here. Just need to check. Twenty three minutes. All right. You got that right. What's the situation, Zerelda? Zerelda. Got it. All concepts are now active. Keep them safe. The more we have, the stronger our distress signal. We need time for the comsats to strengthen our signal. Then I can broadcast our distress call to the New Republic. Gotcha. We'll keep the Empire away from the comsats. Exactly. Because if we lose them all, we lose everything. Turner, keep the Empire off our comsats. Have another shield. Ties headed our way. They're tie bombers. Uh, that's not good.
guys, we're on the easiest mode. Oh, you want to get out? Uh, it's fine. I'm pretty sure they've calmed down without you being in there. Yeah. All right. I think we're alone now. That's why the last hole is called the last fly of Starhawk. We can lose our Starhawk prototype, but not the people who built it. You're gonna help them escape. How, boss? The Temperance's hyperdrive is busted. They're working on it, but don't worry. I'll buy you enough time. ago the rebellion welcomed me today i feel honored to join the fight sir you can't have faith Kyo. besides if there's one person who can keep Teresa's attention it's me i need you to lead our defenders the future of project starhawk and maybe the new republic itself is in your hands all due respect sir you won't last a second out there alone 
Hello? No. But thanks to you, I've been able to call in some help. Commander James, this is Animal Squadron. We got your message. We're here to help. Oh. Good luck, Vanguard. And may the Force be with you. May the Force be with you, man. He's gonna die. with you and all that junk. Oh, my eyes are tired. I have no problems at all. My eyes water. Bye.